Hi everybody and welcome to another edition of Endless Golf. I'm your host Bobby Vermillion. Today we're at the beautiful Lynx at Lighthouse Sound here in Ocean City, Maryland. In just a moment we'll be joined by head golf professional John Rudeau to show us around this terrific Arthur Hills design. So stay with us. Welcome to Endless Golf with Bobby Vermillion. Endless Golf is brought to you by your local Toyota dealers. Now's the time to go places with Toyota. Pam's Ocean City Golf Getaways, the official golf package provider of Ocean City, Maryland. Discover Ocean City, Maryland. Book your Ocean City Golf Getaway now at OCOcean.com. Geico, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Visit us at geico.com or call 800-947-AUTO. And the Green Turtle Sports Bar and Grill, with over 35 locations, meet you at the Turtle. Joining me here at the beautiful Lynx at Lighthouse Sound in Ocean City, Maryland, is my good friend and head golf professional, John Rudo. And John, it's great to have you back on the Thanks, show. Thanks, Bobby. Glad and to be back. It's amazing. We have not played together on this show for a number of years, but uh, John and I, for just for a little background, we're very good friends. We play a lot of golf together, so today's going to be a fun day, John. Well, you play a little bit more golf than I do. <laughs> I tell you what, but you got the logo on your bag. He's a, he's a great player and a, and a great guy. And uh, we have a great golf course this morning to talk about the Lynx at Lighthouse Sound and Arthur Hill's design. It's not bad coming to this office every day, Johnny. It's beautiful, Bobby. It's actually a slice of heaven. Uh, as you can see, you, you see the uh, Ocean City skyline in the distance. Beautiful holes, a lot of water. It really is great a great spot. It really is a great spot, a great golf experience. We're staying on the tee box on number 11, a terrific par three. We're going to talk about and play this hole in just a minute. But first, let's take a look at some holes on the front nine. And I really think your experience begins with a terrific par four, and that is number four. It kind of plays its way back to the Ocean City Skyline. Tough, probably the toughest hole in the golf course, Bobby. Uh, long par four, water on the right, bunkers on the left. And again, in the skyline, you see the, the beautiful Ocean City Skyline, and it's just a great great spot. You don't want to go long there because the marsh comes into play. It also comes into play on the right hand side. So you want to be precise with your second shot. It is a tough uh, golf hole, no question about it. Then moving to the probably the signature hole here at Lighthouse Sound, the par three, number five. Beautiful number five, hole. just a gorgeous golf hole. Beautiful hole, Bobby. Uh, water on the right. As you look over the green, you see again the Ocean City skyline. And uh, you better be precise with your, your, with your tee shot because you have uh, marsh that fronts the green, pot pothole bunker right up in front of the green also so uh, be precise and then moving to a terrific par four number six number six is a hole that features an island tee box that's my favorite place on the golf course Bobby again uh, tee box really out in the middle of the bay um, and again water down for you guys who fade the ball <laughs> four five and six that might not be the best holes for you but uh, just keep it left off the tee and keep it out of the bunkers on the tee and a very difficult green there a real deep bunker that fronts the green uh, so uh, but the good thing about that hole is you, you, you should be coming in with a wedge or, you know, eight, nine wedge. All right, let's look, take a look at a par five, and that is number seven. Number seven, just a gorgeous golf hole, plays its way back to the clubhouse. Uh, a great aiming point in that hole is the silo there. It's still there from the property. Well, for the big hitters, ago. Bobby. You know, if you're a big hitter like yourself, the silo is probably the aiming point. But, but if uh, you want to bail out a little bit, you can go a little left. Yeah, it's definitely a three-shot hole. Um, you want to keep it, the tee shot to the left a little bit. For the big hitters, you want to aim probably right of the solo. Uh, but again, we have a, a, a creek that kind of fronts the green maybe 100 yards out, so you have to be careful. Um, you, you want to make sure you carry that on your second shot. Well, let's talk about the hole we're going to play first this morning. Uh, number 11, a terrific par 3. It's a little elevated. You know, Arthur Hills does a great job with his greens. If you miss the greens here at Lighthouse Sound, you're going to pay the price. Well, especially here, Bobby, on 11, uh, we have a bunker that, that guards the left part of the green, and then obviously a big slope off on the right-hand side. And it's really narrow on the front part of the green. So luckily today, the pin's back left a little bit. You had it set up because Bobby draws the ball. So, uh, but once you get past the middle of the green, it, it does uh, get a little bit wider. Johnny, you've got the honors. Let's tee it up on Let's number one. Let's do it. Great. Let's do it. All right. Okay, Bobby, here we are on a number 11 tee box. Playing the gold tee, you drag me to the back tee. You know, we did have a debate this morning which tee box to play. I would have preferred to play the mixed to green and blues, but you brought me back to the gold. You're no not doubt. stroking here either, right? No, no. You're not stroking? <laughs> Knock it on. Bobby hit a bucket of balls before we filmed today. I just came out of the shop. <laughs> good swing. Center of the green. That's a good looking shot there, John. Get back there, Bobby. Got to go a little bit. That's fine. All right, middle of the green. Not bad for 7 o'clock in the morning. I tell you what, this is absolutely gorgeous right here. 
Just peaceful, quiet. Are you going to draw or hit a hit a cut here, Bobby? I'm going to try to just hit it on the green. How about that? Okay. <laughs> No wind today, just perfect. Beautiful. Uh-oh, I think you're inside I me. Mean, nice finish, finish on your left side. Stay right there. Whoa, that looks about pin high. All right. Great shot, Bobby. Take it. Thank you. Johnny, you need it? No, sir, I'm good, thank you. All right, tell Great. you what, we're on the green. That's, this is a tough golf hole, but we got some tough putts here. Probably the toughest par three on the golf course, in my opinion. To what? The greens are perfect, Johnny. It's a beautiful, beautiful green today. It's nice getting off first. Get the fresh green. I'm away, Bobby, so I'm going to go, all right? You got it. Knock it in. Knock it in. I'll take a two putt. Good roll. Good roll. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh, first take. <laughs> That's what we call the reverse chirp. I say knock it in. He says he wants a two putt. He makes it. Good putt. Well, you hit such a beautiful tee shot. I knew you were probably going to make two. I'll tell you what. I thought I was a little closer than this there, John. <laughs> well, as you see, the green kind of slopes away on the back part. Knock it in. Oh, this is looking good. Hit it a little bit. Ah, uh, I guess that's good, huh? No, go ahead and clean it up. All right, clean we, up. we gotta get ready. <laughs> get ready for the Maryland Open for you. This is what friends do, right? Very good. Nice three. All right. Great, great three here. And a great two, John. Always Thank a you. lot of fun. I tell you yeah. what, what a gorgeous golf hole. Yeah, beautiful. And the great news is we get to play a par five that you can definitely uh, make birdie on. Number 18, reachable in two. We'll have to play this one maybe a little bit back. That way you can't make birdie birdie. <laughs> you always drag me back. All right, you? stay with us. We'll be right back at the beautiful Lynx at Lighthouse Sound here in Ocean City, Maryland. Welcome back to Endless Golf in the beautiful Lynx at Lighthouse Sound here in Ocean City, Maryland. Staying with me is head golf professional John Rudo and John. Nice birdie on number 11, I tell you what. <laughs> one of the things, I don't know if our viewers noticed, but how true the greens are. This golf course is always in tour-like conditions. Great shape. Uh, Tom Akers, our superintendent, does a, a fabulous job with this golf course. Probably the best greens in the Ocean City area. And f actually from tee to green, it, it's, it's just spectacular. And John, as you know, after your round, a great place to enjoy is the Lighthouse Restaurant. What a great setting overlooking the Ocean City skyline. A great place to have events and weddings as well. No, what a better way to finish your round than sitting on the deck, like you said, Bobby, looking at the skyline. It's just a beautiful setting, excellent food. Um, and we actually have uh, uh, entertainment uh, throughout the year also. So if you're in town and you're not playing golf and you want to come to a, a great spot to have a great meal and maybe some entertainment, this is a great spot to be. All right, let's take a look at this outstanding Arthur Hills design. We'll turn our attention now to the back nine. We're going to play number 18, a terrific par five in just a moment. And we're actually standing on the back tee box. Someplace I've never been we're here at the Lynx. We're not playing No, we're not. <laughs> Someplace I've never been here at the Lynx at Lighthouse Sound is the back tee on 18. And it's just beautiful. absolutely gorgeous. You know, you've got the setting of the marshland in the background, the bay, and then the Ocean City skyline off to our left. Uh, just a gorgeous golf hole. We'll talk about this hole in a second, but first, another great par five on the back nine is number 12. Yeah, real difficult hole. Uh, pretty much straightaway par five, water on the left, a lot of trees on the right, so uh, try to stay away from the right side of the fairway. One thing you got to be careful of on number 12 is there's a, a pot bunker maybe 135 yards out from the green. Stay out of that when you lay up for your second shot. And your third shot, you really need to be precise with your, your approach. It's a really narrow green, um, and both uh, sides of the green slope off one into a bunker and one into a, uh, the rough area. So just try to be precise with your third shot. Okay, then the hole we're going to play next this morning, the terrific par five, as I mentioned earlier, number 18, an opportunity to get home in two. Now, if we're going to play this tee box, yeah. no shot for me to get home in two, but yeah. I'm, going to move, I'm going to step it one up for us, Johnny. Uh, you've already made one birdie today. Yeah. Great opportunity here on 18 to make another. Yeah, looking forward to it. A beautiful hole. Uh, another dog leg left. Again, you can bite off as much as you want. Uh, if you're a mid to higher handicapper, just keep it down the right hand side. It's, it's relatively an easy par five if you're conservative with your tee shot. But again, with the big hitters, you can bite off as much as you want, so you'll have anywhere from 200 to 170 yards in if you hit a real good tee shot. Well, let's head up to one, to one more tee box let's and see if it. we can't make let's a birdie. Do it. Let's Great. do it. Okay, here we go, Bobby. Par five, number 18. I'm one down. <laughs> yeah, right. You're one up. With great birdie on number 11. I tell you what, what air there is today is helping a little bit, so that's the good news. Yeah, usually this is unusual for Lighthouse. Usually it's a, a two-club win, so we're, we're fortunate today. 
You can make eagle today. Uh, you might have a putt at it anyway. That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. I'll Gotta tell you stay what. a little right. Okay. And you know there's more room short, left than you think up there. Short but cut. That's the long that's the long way over that marsh, that's for sure. You probably have what do you think? 190 in yeah, maybe? Yeah, probably 190. All right. I'm going to try to play this a little further to the right, but okay. Make a good swing. Yep. Just like the par 3 tee. Nice. That'll play. Good swing. Thank you. Excellent. All Might right. even give it a go if you can hit your three with 230. Well, Johnny, you pretty much hit the number on the head. I'm 230 to the center of the green. Again, a little wind helping, but it's all carry. I really want to take a go at this, but that's not the prudent play. Really, just hit it towards the clubhouse. Absolutely, here. Bobby. The prudent play is to play out to the right. You know and I know that you can hit the <laughs> shot on the green, but for the folks at home, let's just play down the right-hand side. Right. Now, I will say, full disclosure, right. that's his ball right up there, which is about 70 yards. No, maybe 40. And uh, I will say this. He's maybe. normally not that far ahead of me, but I didn't hit mine very well today. He crushed his. All right, hit a good one. All right, you got it. Right at the clubhouse. Nice swing. That should play. Yep, very nice. A little left, it'll be yeah, all right. Yeah, that's okay. Left side of the fairway. Okay, Bobby, as you can see, I, I hit a pretty good drive. I have about 200 yards, but the problem with hogging this left-hand side is you have this marsh here in front of you, so I've got to get the ball up quickly. I'm going to tell you what, the pin's tucked on the right front, and that's a tough little pin to get to. I'm just going to try to hit a nice baby cut. Man, that's right at it. Just stay right there. I don't know. We'll have to go up, go up and see where it landed. Looked pretty good from here. John, I hit that three wood a little further left than I would have liked. It ended up about 40 yards from the green. And if I had my way, I'd be back here a little bit. I'd rather have about an 80 or 100 yard shot. But uh, it's I don't a know. I, shot. I think you, you probably should have gone for the green, Bob. You're awfully close <laughs> here. You got a little bit of elevated green. Just make sure you get the ball past the flag. All right. We'll tell don't get greedy. It knock it up there close. Nice, really nice. Right there. Just like the tour pros. Johnny, that was a great second shot you hit. Oh, uh, thank you, Robert. All right, you gonna need it? Uh, no, you can pull it, please. Well, I thought you'd have a putt for a three here on this hole, that's for sure. Knock I didn't get greedy. I just wanted to make sure I hit enough club to get it on the green. Uh, I don't know if it's going to come in. Uh, uh, that's a great Great speed, though. wrong line. All right, clean that up, will you? Okay. <laughs> the, no, friendly, the friendly match nothing, is over. We got to put them out. Nothing's good. Nothing's good, especially for birdie. There you go. Great birdie. Thank you, sir. Knock it in. I'll tell you what, we talked about it earlier. You haven't done the show for a while, and you come out right out of the <laughs> gate, go birdie, birdie. Knock it in. All right. Nice in stroke. In nice there. stroke, Robert. Right. Way to go. What, I go par birdie, and I'm still one down. <laughs> <laughs> Great job. Great job. I've got a tough audience here today. I tell yeah. you, John Rudo, head golf professional, right here at the Lynx at Lighthouse Sound, as we talk about. Just a gorgeous place to play Beautiful. golf. Just enjoy, enjoy your day. I tell you what, it doesn't get much better than this. It doesn't. Right, we'll Thanks go, for coming. Appreciate right, it's it. It's good to be back again. Yep, yep. All right, we'll be right back here at the Links at Lighthouse Sound with our tip of the week, so stay with us. Welcome back to Lighthouse Sound. Today I'm going to give you a bunker tip, a short bunker tip. But before we go into the sand, I think it's very important that everyone should know to hit this shot, it's in your best interest to have a six degree lob wedge. The lob wedge is gonna help get the ball up in the air quicker and land softly. And with this shot, that's gonna be very important. So as you can see, we're in the bunker. I don't have a lot of green to work with. So what we wanna do is we wanna get the ball up quickly 
and land softly. The first thing you need to do is when you get in and get your stance, make sure you are open. Open up your feet, open up your shoulders. You want to aim left for the target. I know a lot of amateurs, they get in the bunker, they take the club back and they desaw and quit right at impact. We don't want to do that. We're going to open up our stance. We're going to hit maybe two inches behind the ball with the club face open and slide right underneath the ball. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hit a shot here. So get your stance open, your shoulders open, open up the club face, get your, dig your feet into the sand, two inches behind the ball, and accelerate impact. Not bad. So remember, get yourself a lob wedge or a sand wedge, something with some loft on it. When you get into the bunker and you don't have a lot of green to work with, make sure you pick the club up abruptly and slide it underneath the ball. Do not de so Remember, slide it underneath the ball and accelerate an impact. That acceleration is going to get the ball up in the air and have it land softly. So I hope this is going to help you with your bunker game going forward. If you have any other questions about the game of golf, Go see a local PGA professional, they will take care of you. Just how much trouble can you really get into in Ocean City, Maryland? That's up to you. But with 18 world-class golf courses designed by some of the game's greatest names, terrific sports bars, and the hottest night spots around, it won't be hard day or night. Call the girls at PAMS and it gets even easier. We do all the work and you have all the fun. Check out what our customers have to say. I've been coming down here for 17 years now, booking with these young ladies. Any problems, they handle them quick, efficiently, never had any problems with anything. Uh, they're a great bunch of people down here to deal with, and uh, the courses that they have and the hotels are outstanding. One phone call, made the reservations, the rooms are great, the hotel is great, we got wonderful ocean view hotel. The golf is, the courses are spectacular, it's a great time to come down. Uh, there's numerous restaurants. This is our first visit to Ocean City, Maryland. We'll be back. And it, and it certainly won't be our last. We just love this place to they, death. They set up a good golf course for us that was easy for us to play. It wasn't hard. She was very good on making the reservations, the hotel people. It was great. And I've been coming down here for about 15 years and dealing with PAMS all that time. Once I didn't deal with PAMS and I came right back again. They're the best. Nothing but the best. Dreaming about all the fun you could be having playing golf in Ocean City? Then you need to call Pam's Golf Getaways, Ocean City's official golf package provider, to get your free copy of Play Golf Magazine, the insider's guide to saving time and money booking the perfect Ocean City golf getaway. Contact the girls at Pam's right now and mention this video and we will double your fun by also sending you a special VIP reward certificate valued at over $280. Put a trip together with your friends and you as the group leader can redeem this certificate for a free return trip during our special spring and fall VIP client rewards events. So don't just sit there, call the girls at PAMS at 888-222-GOLF, 888-222-4653. Or visit us online at tv.pamsocgolf.com where you can get social with us via live chat, Facebook, and Twitter. Don't miss your chance to be the first to receive new golf specials and win fantastic prizes. Contact PAMS today. Well, that's all the time we have for this week's edition of Endless Golf. From the beautiful links at Lighthouse Sound here in Ocean City, Maryland, a special thank you goes out to my good friend and head golf professional, John Ruto, for his wonderful hospitality. Remember, if you'd like to book your next golf vacation right here to Ocean City, Maryland, make sure you do it with Ocean City's official golf package provider, PAMS Golf Getaways. Until next time, I'm your host, Bobby Vermillion. Hit him straight. So long, everybody. Thanks for watching Endless Golf with Bobby Vermillion. Endless Golf is brought to you by your local Toyota dealers. Now's the time to go places with Toyota. PAM's Ocean City Golf Getaways, the official golf package provider of Ocean City, Maryland. Discover Ocean City, Maryland. Book your Ocean City Golf Getaway now at ococean.com. Geico, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Visit us at geico.com or call 800-947-AUTO. And the Green Turtle Sports Bar and Grill, with over 35 locations, meet you at the Turtle. <laughs>